Torah tells us in this week's parasha, Lo sires chamor achicha o shoro noflim baderech vehisalam tomehem hakem takimimo. You shouldn't see the animal of your friend stuck on the side and ignore it. Rather, hakem takimimo, you should raise it up together with him. It's the mitzvah of te'ina. It's the mitzvah chazal tell us of if somebody has a, an animal and having difficulty loading it, then we have a responsibility not to ignore, not to pretend that we don't see as we may be pulled to do, but we should take responsibility, go and help the person, and join together with him in loading the animal. The Gemara, though, has an interesting drush, and it's quoted by Rashi here. What does it mean, emo, together with him? Rashi says, Im be'alav, together with the owner. Avalim halach ve'yashav lo, if the owner goes and says, listen, now you have an obligation. I'm going to sit back on the side, and I'm going to drink my coffee, and I'm going to sit back and relax. Now you do it. It's your obligation. I don't have a mitzvah. It's my animal. But now you have that opportunity to do the mitzvah, so you do it. And I'm not going to participate, putter. Then I who see it am no longer obligated to help him. But that seems obvious. It seems obvious. Would we allow somebody to take advantage of another person in such a way? Now you have an obligation to help me, so you do the whole thing yourself? What's the hava mina? What thought is there that one would not be required to help and that I would still be obligated to do it, that the Torah has to come along and say, oh, you're not obligated to do it. So on the Mishnah, this is a Sugyan Meseches, Bab Metzi, and Daflam and Aleph, and Daflam and Beis. So over there, the Gemara has a similar drasha, a similar understanding, teaching that I'm not obligated to help the person if he's not going to help himself. And some of the Achorim wonder, what is the uh, same question we just asked, what's the Hapa mean? Why would I have thought otherwise? So one of them suggests that we're talking about a situation in which the owner of the animal can't do it himself. He's not strong enough. But I come along and I am able to do the entire thing myself. So I might have thought, if you could do the whole thing yourself, and I can't possibly do the whole thing myself, so you do it. Why do I have to participate? And that the Torah says, no. Even though the person who comes along can do it himself and you can't possibly do it, you're still obligated to do your part. You're still obligated to participate. You can't take advantage of other people. And if you're not going to do it, you're just going to sit back, then you're going, the person is going to be putter and not obligated. We can't use other people. We can't use mitzvot as an excuse and take advantage of other people. Roger quotes from Rav Moshe Salavechik, a beautiful drasha related to this yesod, and I think maybe in particular to this idea, and connected to something that we've been saying in davening every single day. In the David Hashem Ori, we say, Achas sha'alti Hashem. I have one thing I'm going to ask from Hashem. Osav akesh. That's what I'm going to ask. Shifti v'etz Hashem. Kol yimei chayai. That I should dwell in the house of Hashem all the days of my life. And he asks, isn't it redundant? If it's achas sha'alti Hashem, of course I'm going to ask it. Or I should just say, Osav akesh. This is what I'm asking. Why do I have to first say, there's one thing that I'm going to ask. Oh, now I'm going to ask it. Why the redundancy? So he suggests that maybe this is the idea. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is kol yachol. Hashem can do everything. Hashem can do anything. And we throw our burdens and we say, we want health and parnasa and shiduchim and, and children and, and nachas and so many things. We desire so many things and wisdom. We want so much. So we say, Hashem, it's on you now. This is the David HaMelech. Acha shalti meis Hashem. I have one thing I want to ask for. Osa avakesh. You have to ask it, but you also have to seek it out. You have to do your part. You have to participate. Why would I think I wouldn't have to participate? Well, Hashem is kol yachol. In the end, I can't do it myself anyway. And the Rebbe can do it without me. So maybe I wouldn't have to. That's what David HaMelech is teaching us. Osa avakesh. We have to do our part. And it's true. Bein Adam Lechaveiro was in the mitzvah of Te'ina. We can't take advantage of other people. We can't say, oh, it's your mitzvah. Now it's your obligation. I'm not going to help. No. We have to take personal responsibility. And it's also true in the realm of Bein Adam Lechaveiro and our relationship with Hashem. That's the Medrash and Shir Shirim that we'll probably hear about over the coming days of Pesach, of, 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 Pesach, Kechud HaShemachat, open up for me a small hole of tshuva and then HaKadosh Baruch says, I will widen it. Why? 
Because when he sees that effort, when he sees we do our part, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm here with you. I am together with you. And when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is working together with us, then we feel that bracha. But that also gives him the opportunity, gives him the ability. He could do it anyway. But this desire to join together with us. And that's, Hashem. We ask so many things from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We are going to participate. We're going to try to be part of that process. And then hopefully HaKadosh Baruch Hu will grant us all that we desire, all that we ask for, and ultimately widen that hole and help us return B'Tshuva Shleimah to Him.